Yeah, and just in terms of how we're seeing things growing in the market, so the Investment Association, um, I think September last year, said that ESG now makes up 38% of um, UK assets under management. Um, But sustainable and impact is, I think, below 2%. Um, and that's the type of investment we really need to see more of if we want to see a, a change, um, you know, in terms of our impact on the environment and in social issues. Um, so, I mean, how how do we grow <laughs> sustainable and impact investing? Do you think it is going to grow? Um, do you think people are starting to realise that? ESG isn't necessarily a sort of an, an impact outcomes style strategy. Um, yeah, do you want to talk a bit about that? Yeah, I think so. And I think, I, yeah, I think we ought to start off by just explaining what we mean. So I think generally speaking, when people are talking about ESG funds, they're talking about funds that tilt to, towards companies that are well managed in terms of how they manage their environmental, social and governance. Now, that doesn't actually mean that the product or service they provide is necessarily particularly sustainable. I mean, this isn't a great example, but you might have a tobacco company that's really well managed and uh, everyone's happy working there, very low um, staff turnover and all sorts of, you know, very diverse thing. But ultimately, they're selling a product that kills you Um, and they are pivoting. And it's very interesting to see um, them moving into the healthcare, healthcare space. Uh, but it seems kind of weird to me that you would own a company that most of its products are killing people and it's beginning to buy products that fix the problem they cause. But for some people, that's fine. For me personally, I just, uh, life's too short. Um, so so uh, I'm not saying all ESG funds uh, are going to be investing in companies that do unsustainable things, but the focus on those is better manage companies um, with less focus on what they do. And, and I think that um, is something that's relatively easy to do in theory. So you you pay some money to a, a third party that's ranked all these uh, companies. And, and there's some evidence to suggest that the, the better managed in terms of ESG companies are going to generate better investment returns. But ultimately, because we're not really focusing enough, I don't think, on what the company does. So if you go into the sustainable investment which is really about finding companies that are the right side of these big positive trends that are going to reduce, decarbonize our economy, that are going to, um, you know, help um, better patient outcomes and help with healthcare, make people more healthy, etc. All these things, that's where you would end up in this more sustainable investment. And I guess falling out of that is impact investing, where you're trying to measure those positive things that those those companies are doing. Uh, And I think it's something that um, in the past, it was always felt it was a very small subset of people that were particularly right on that were interested in that, but most people weren't. But I think what I'm, what I understand is, and it varies, but about two thirds of private investors do want to understand more about this sustainable investing, this slightly more focused way of investing, if you like. and so I think that 2% that's within that part of the market and the 70% that's interested, I'm not saying everyone that hears about it is going to do it, but it's it's quite a, an appealing proposition. If you can invest in a fund where they're trying to direct the capital towards companies that are providing things we need um, and uh, that are helping us solve the problems and they're being really proactive in engaging those companies for meaningful positive change. If you can get similar investment returns or, you know, than you would in a normal fund, why wouldn't you do that? Um, so I think, I think people are, are, are beginning to uh, understand uh, this, this a lot more. And the other thing that I think's impacted the amount of interest in it is that there are quite a lot of, uh, mainstream, I'd call them investors, like just people who don't have a focus on sustainability. Uh, and this is slightly anecdotal, but that are looking at these sustainable investment funds because they're really good funds. You know, they they have good risk adjusted returns. They have teams that have been together for a long time. They have repeatable 
processes, they're in a stable environment, etc. So it's quite interesting that, um, you know, there are occasions where we will speak to people and um, more in the institutional side who will be quite surprised that there's so much of a focus on sustainability because the reason why they wanted to talk to you was how come you've got, you know, such good long-term investment numbers. So I think, I think um, that is coming 